This video is to show the Lionel Trains American Legend train set number 6-11735 for an eBay listing on the account of Home Automazing. Alright, so here's the train set. You can see we've got basically every part. There are a couple potentially missing pieces and one or two little small broken pieces, but I'll show those later in the video. Here is your engine, the coal car, a box car with sliding doors, or sliding on both sides, we'll just sew it open, so they're both there. There's a cargo rail, I guess. It does have the supports that belong here, they're just not installed. They're right here, they've never been installed. They'll be back in the packaging. There's three extra wheels that I believe are used to replace this one if it were to break. There's your caboose. We have two um, pieces that go under the track so that a, a vehicle like the truck over there can go over the track. Um, we've got these pieces with several barrels. And I'm not even positive what these are for. Um, little planks. All those are there. A couple of these are removed. They're just in place where they would belong. The barrels and one of these, one of these boxes, and three of the barrels. Those will be in a baggie. Uh, here's the controller. Um, here is the the truck. And as you can see, one of the five rail pieces is missing. It is broken. One piece broke off there. I don't have that piece. I'm not sure where it is. But other than that, the truck works and rolls perfect. Um, you've got the connector for the power, the cord to the power supply, or the power controller, and the power supply down there on the ground. Here's the box. It's a 0 27 gauge. Has the styrofoam and everything. I don't have it in here, but I do have the complete styrofoam um, and the box for the power supply. So that's everything. We're gonna go ahead and turn it on real quick and show you it in motion. We'll show you the horn, and we'll show you the re that the reverse does not work. Okay, go ahead. Let me get that out of the way. We're not going to run at full speed because if we run at full speed and it were to come off the track, I don't want it to fall on the floor. Let me show you, this is about straight up and down in the green area. We're not quite there. It's going pretty quick. I don't want to let it run this fast for so long. Sitting on the table, go ahead and turn it down a little bit. As you can see, the light works. Go ahead and touch the horn. Again. All right, and go ahead and press reverse. So reverse just stops the train. You can see he's pressing the reverse now. Go ahead and let it go. All right, and one last thing with this train is the power, the controller has been picky to me in the past where this gets moved around and it doesn't quite work, the light turns out. But right now, it's not being picky at all. Right now I'm twisting and turning and pulling on it, and it's running just fine. I just wanted to call it out. I don't know if it's something in this wire or the one going to the track, but it has been picky before. It, generally I get it set and it works fine, but you can see we're able to pick this up and move it around and it still works with no issue. Again, here's the horn. And here's the reverse, stopping the train. So that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching the video, and if you buy this on eBay, I hope you appreciate it. And we'll get it packed up nicely and securely. Thank you.